the hype movement is just not a lot of Bay Area artists coining their genre of music. You know, I'm giving it a name. So when you say hype beat, people out of the state like, oh, hype beat, that's from the Bay Area. You know, it, it just gives us our, our identification. You can rap, and they be like, damn, man, I can go the way he rapping, you know what I'm saying? The way he sound is different, you know what I'm saying? He, he sounds sporadic, he sounds excited, man. That could be hype. I mean, hype was like, man, that man is, you know, hype. He's like, wow. You know, he really didn't really listen to what people had to say. He was doing him. Basically, just, you know, a hyper energy, hype, hyphy, hyper. The, the Black Panthers was hypey. You know what I'm saying? The hippies was hypey. Hi quote unquote, the hypey. Producers movie. like Kyrie and Tone Capone had a lot to do with, and uh, 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 Trackademics had a lot to do with shaping the sound. People got to take that into account. This is a sound. Before it was called the hyphy movement, you basically had hyphy street culture. You know, people in the, in the streets who participated in hyphy street culture, they made songs and they came up to the Friday Night Vibe with them. Mid and late 90s, a lot of things happened in Bay Area hip hop culture and Bay Area social culture. New laws were being passed to basically separate those. How Hyphy came about is a law that prohibited cruising around an area known as Lake Merritt. You know, the, the clubs were shutting down early. The concerts weren't as thick. All of these events being taken away produced a street culture that basically shrugged its shoulders and said, now what do we do? There's nothing to do out here in Oakland. I mean, police shuts down everything we do, all the clubs for the youth, all the parties and everything. I mean, they shut those down, so where do we go? There were all of these situations that pushed poor youth street culture underneath the surface. And in order for it to get back up to the surface, it had to basically regenerate itself come up with its own events, like the sideshow and the block party, come up with its own fashion styles and apparel. <laughs> Stewie bent heads. <laughs> Scrapers, you know, putting big rims on the old, you know, Delta 88s and Oldsmobiles and Park Avenues. These cars were some of the most affordable and efficient cars in the black community at the time, and we didn't have any money to get anything other than that. So we went, we went over to Scrapers the next, that was, and we did that on our own. Rick Rock, you got another thing. They can't fuck with it. It's I, yeah. Come on. Rick Rock, Mr. Stress, Go to Go, Big Game. You know what I'm talking about? Check me out now. You go to the side show, that's where everybody's at, but everybody's going there because there's nothing for young folks to do. And that's why when the shit got shut down, the violence in Oakland went up. Oakland had the number eight murder rate in the entire country, which was right behind Richmond at the number five murder rate, which is a few freeways and up the road. Every day's drama, you feel me? Like, for the past three days, it, it been shooting over there and stuff like that, Manny, so, you know, I got shot, you feel me? You don't wanna go through it no more. To pass all these laws, let's criminalize these kids for basically trying to find something to do, because there is nothing to do at a certain time or hour in certain communities. I think, again, that oppressive culture which in the end creates hyphen. And any other culture that's suppressed by an oppressor, the oppressor always wants a notice of non-responsibility. <laughs> so it's like, oh, it's not me, it's hip hop. Oh, it's not me, it's rock and roll. Oh, it's not rock and roll, it's blues. Oh, it's not blues, it's, uh, it's just black people in general. Hi, I'm Oakland Mayor Ron Dellums. And I'm Mr. Fab, a recording artist who grew up in Oakland, spent most of my life here, and witnessed a lot of family members and friends die of senseless acts of violence every day. A lot of the kids, they listen to me and they take heed to the words that I say, and um, I think that I can make a difference with just the positive influence of, of, of me being a part of something. Fab has been somebody who um, I actually talked about with Silence the Violence uh, when I first thought of the idea. And um, um, so he's just been tremendous for us. And um, I think that when he carries the message of Silence the Violence, a lot more people listen. Oakland's young people have created a form of hip hop that is now changing hip hop. The hyphy uh, movement is changing the art. Now it's time for Oakland's youth to produce a culture of peace to change the culture of hip hop. And we're going to see that happen out of Oakland. This is Cub Records right here, um, as you can see around you, where you're actually in the studio, Cub Records. 
Um, Cover Records is an up-and-coming independent record label that works directly with young people that are living in the communities where the violence is hitting the hardest. And the mission of Cover Records is really to, you know, give young people the freedom of self-expression so that they can really use music as a way to foster their creativity and their leadership and as a way to overcome the violence that's happening in the communities. We do MySpace as in promotion and getting, you know, the music out there to the people. We do our Pro Tools right here. We also do Final Cut Pro, as in making videos. How else can we solve a problem if we don't address it? But if we are putting it in our music, because music has a lot of power, and it's like a real, if you get some real cats who comes from these real communities and been through real stuff to promote real music, then real gonna follow, because real recognize real. You know, like my brother said, he's been shot four times, I've been shot two times. And it's like, that's all over nonsense. I mean, we can promote that through our music, use our personal experiences, to show that you, man, you ain't got to go down this road. I don't want to corrupt people negatively. I'd rather leave them in a positive moment, in a positive way. And that's what I do as an artist. I show up at the events. I come to the kids, to the meetings. Um, I show them that I am a mere model of what they are and what they will soon to be as they get older. And just continue to do positive things. Moms at home ain't trying to cook meals. All they got a hustle selling for five bucks. You look like a Hyphy in 2007 has transcended race in the Bay Area, economical background in the Bay Area, rich kids are doing it, rich white kids are doing it, Asians, Filipino, Pacific Islander. For a lot of these kids and people uh, in these other communities that are outside the poor community, inner city community of color, they latched on to Hyphy because of how strong Hyphy rebelled and won against people who said Bay Area and hip hop was dead. Whether you agree with Hyphy or not, it succeeded in overcoming its own circumstances.